The next pellet I wanted to test was the Gamo Raptor. Supposedly, it is said to get amazing penetration. However, this was not shown in my book penetration test, so I wanted to see how it did in flesh. The pellet made an alright cavity for itself upon entering the gel at 1101 feet per second, but unfortunately it made an extreme turn and flew right out of the side of the block, exiting the gel at 8 and 3 quarters inches. So I tested it again. I fired the second Raptor to the left of the first one, but it made the same exact curve, down and right. Fortunately, this one stayed in the block after entering at 1,064 feet per second and made an almost identical cavity pattern compared to the first one. The pellet stopped just before hitting the bottom and the head's diameter had actually decreased from 0.218 inches to 0.215 inches, a 1.4% decrease. Although it is supposedly known to penetrate farther and better than any other pellet, 11 inches didn't seem like an impossible feat to me. My guess is that the Raptor's incredibly small weight keeps it from having enough momentum to push a very long path through the flesh, as the ballistics gel seems to have slowed it down pretty quickly. This pellet was very baffling to me, traveling an incredibly strange yet repeatable path through the gel and somehow decreasing in diameter. I really just don't know what to conclude about this pellet. Maybe it has better penetration through solid objects.